Hey guys, welcome back to my channel to a brand new video. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Jaime and I'm the proud owner of one of the leading social media marketing agencies in the world where we take e-commerce brands that we truly believe in and we transform them into market leaders. Now, I started my agency just over two years ago at this point and in this video, I'm going to show with you how much I initially invested to get started with my agency. So if you want to know, all you got to do is keep on watching. <laughs> Now, the false expense was my logo. And technically, yes, these are all expenses, but essentially the false expense was my logo. Now, in my case, I actually got my friend to do the logo for me. So I'm super grateful for that friend uh, probably watching this video. So I appreciate you. So it actually cost me zero dollars, but I thought I'd include it in here so you guys know what to expect going into it. Uh, essentially, you can get a logo done by someone on Fiverr and a quality logo done for around 15, 20, 25 bucks. Obviously, you could pay 1K, 2K for a logo uh, from a you know fancy agency, but that's not really the type of logo that we're looking for, especially when you're just starting out and you're you know, bootstrapping everything, right? I do believe that it's important to have a professional logo because it's gonna make your agency look more professional. And I truly believe that if you want those premium clients, you need to have a premium look yourself. It's really how the B2B space works. Yes, it's also true that results trump everything. So results is number one priority. In fact, I've had a lot of clients who have gone through the more premium agencies that had a really nice looking website and a really nice looking logo and a cool fancy office in Manhattan, but then they went to us because we could get them much better results. At the same time, I do believe that it's important to have that premium look. And so you can either invest you know, 15, 20 bucks in a, in a professional logo, um, or if you guys have creative friends, uh, they're really good with uh, Photoshop or Illustrator, then you can just go to them. Um, and I'm sure they'll be uh, very glad uh, to, to help you out. Um, and so that is the first expense, the logo. Now the second expense is the domain. And so I got mine with Google domains. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link down below uh, where you can cop your domain. But essentially the domain cost me $15. And I actually don't recommend you pay more uh, for a domain. Yes, there's going to be domains, especially if it's a high quality domain. Um, usually the, the, the shorter the, the word, the more expensive the domain is going to be because it's much easier to remember and read. Um, but if you're not getting some crazy domain, uh, it's not really going to cost you more than 50 bucks. Uh, and honestly, I recommend that you guys keep your expenses uh, very low at uh, first. And so it's not necessary to get that incredible domain because at the end of the day, we are a service based business, right? We're not a product. We're not, we're not really selling a product to people. And so although the branding is important, it's not as important as if we were building an actual product uh, and a brand related to that product. So that is my domain for an investment of $15 and now to the third expense. The third investment is G Suite. And for those of you watching who don't know what G Suite is, essentially what it is is a business Google account. And so what it does is it grants you access to Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets, uh, Google Drive, Google Forms, and, and the whole host of Google platforms which is incredibly useful because I use those to share files with my clients, for example. Um, every single client that we onboard, we actually create a drive folder for them and we put all the reporting uh, sheets that we create on as well, Google uh, Sheets. We also put in there all the Google Data Studio slides that we use to report to them and a bunch of other communication protocols. And they also share with us the marketing assets that we're gonna run for them on Facebook and Google. So we actually use that whole ecosystem to work with a client and I also use that whole ecosystem to work with my team, right? So if we're writing ad copies, right? Or if we're writing email copies, then we're actually gonna create Google Docs and we're all gonna uh, edit that Google Docs and we're gonna work collectively uh, to get those out. Um, and the client can also pop in there, give us comments, give us uh, feedback, uh, and then get them approved, and then we can launch. Finally, I also use G Suite to share all the documents, all the plug and plays, all the templates that I give access to my mentorship students so that they have that for a lifetime. So overall, G Suite, I use it every single day. It's an incredible uh, host of platforms. And the best thing is that it's only $6 a month. So it's cheaper than most uh, Starbucks uh, drinks. Uh, and not only that, but if you compare that to all the apps that you have to get, if you didn't have G Suite, I'm talking Typeform, I'm, I'm talking Excel, I'm talking Dropbox, literally all these separate apps that do everything that G Suite does, it would probably amount to 50 plus dollars every single month. So that is the third investment, that is G Suite, a total of $6, and now to the fourth investment. My fourth investment was my website. And I've seen a lot of people say, you don't even need a website and a bunch of other stuff regarding the uselessness of a website. And I agree that a website is not a must. If you were to compare an agency to an e-commerce brand, obviously the website for an e-commerce brand is incredibly important, right? Because people buy from the website, whereas an agency, it's only really there to convey authority and convey our services. Um, but what I do believe is that with a website, you can actually make it make money for you. If you build, for example, a case study funnel, or you build a free masterclass funnel and a bunch of other cool funnels that you can build. Now, I've tried a ton of different uh, website builders at this point. I've tried Wix, I've tried more expensive alternatives like ClickFunnels, which is useful if you're building funnels, 
but you don't really need that when you're starting your agency, right? And so the one I recommend, I'm going to leave it in the description. Uh, I've tried it. Aesthetically, my opinion is by far the best website builder. And I do believe that aesthetics plays a big role uh, in the premium feel and look of your agency. Also, it's very, very easy to code uh, and, and to actually set things up yourself. So you don't need someone to, to come in and do that for you. Uh, when I started, I, I was bootstrapping everything. So I just did the website myself. If you guys have excess of money, right, that you can invest, I would probably just get someone to come in and build my website for 400, 500 bucks. I'm actually getting started with selling the service. And the third thing is it is very competitive when it comes to pricing. I believe it's also one of the cheapest, but it's not cheap, right? It's one of the cheapest, but it's also very high quality. So that is the website builder that I recommend. I'm gonna leave it in the description. Uh, and personally, I think a website is important when you're starting out. Do not spend too much time on it, right? Because that's not really going to grow your agency. That's not really going to pay the bills, right? Um, but just set it up and kind of you know forget about it and focus on what truly matters, which is selling the service and making sure that you have an incredible client ecosystem and the right people in your team. And now to the fifth expense, which is my scheduler. My scheduler is the place where prospects can book in a time with me uh, and we can hop on a demo call and a discovery call and then I can close them to be a client of mine. The alternative to the scheduler is basically going back and forth and asking them, hey, does this time work for you or does 4 p.m. work for you better? Or how about 5 p.m. UK time? And then they say, no, I can only do 7 p.m you know, New York time, right? And then you have this back and forth uh, of emails. And quite frankly, it doesn't look professional. It's a bit of a waste of time. And so that is why the scheduler looks professional and saves a ton of time. And personally, in my opinion, it is one of those things that you must have. And the one I personally use is Acuity. I've tried Canly, but I personally prefer Acuity because you have more availability options. You can also add a pixel to your calendar and a bunch of other cool, cool, cool stuff. Um, so I'm going to leave the link in the description for Acuity. Obviously, it's an affiliate link. It is an affiliate link. But if you enjoyed these videos and you find value in them, then obviously you'd be supporting the channel. So if you want to sign up to Acuity, I will leave it in the description. And on the topic of enjoying these videos, if you're enjoying this video so far, go ahead and smash the like button. It helps out a ton with the algorithm, pushes my content to more people so we can impact more people. And I'd really appreciate it. So if you're enjoying this so far, go ahead and gently tap the like button. And with that being said, let's get back into the video. The sixth expense was my contractor. Now, when it comes to your contractor, the person you hire to deliver the service for you, whether you're offering Facebook ads, whether you're offering Google ads, you need a person to deliver the service for you so you can free up that time to actually spend it on signing clients and providing an incredible client experience. Not only that, but if you're not a Facebook ads expert, then obviously the quality of results you're going to be able to get your clients without a contractor and doing everything yourself, it's probably not going to be the best um, type of results. So you want to make sure you hire that contractor. But when you hire the contractor, they only get paid when you sign your first client, right? And so you don't have to pay your contractor if you don't have any clients. Having said that, even if you don't have any clients, I recommend that you add your contractor to your communication platform. Now, for me, that is Slack. That is one I recommend as well. Uh, is by far the best I've tried. The great thing about Slack is that it costs nothing to get started uh, and create your workspace. But when you add a new member to your workspace, that's gonna run you 6.3 pounds, which is around $8. So that's expense number six that I incurred, which brings our total to $50 so far. And now to the final expenses. So the final expenses are pretty simple. Number one, a Wi-Fi connection. If you're watching this video, I'm willing to bet that you have a Wi-Fi connection. Number two is a laptop. Most people have a laptop. If you don't, then I recommend you get one because technically maybe you could work from your phone, but personally, I just don't think it's a very productive environment uh, to actually get deep focus work done um, and to move the new forward and to grow a business. So if you don't have a laptop nowadays, you can get one for very, very cheap. Uh, so that is the second uh, expense within this tier. The third expense that I incurred was pen and paper. Actually not even paper, but one of these notebooks. So $56 to start an agency that at the time I'm recording this makes me $35,000 predictably every single month with our highest being $42.7,000 dollars a month. And so I'm hoping you guys can see the type of returns on investment you can get with business models like these, like the service-based business model where you don't really have much of an investment at the start, um, which is great, right? Because you don't really have to burn the boats as much, right? You're not really in the negatives right from the start. Um, if you don't sign a client, then it's not really costing you much. And so the downside is not huge, but the upside on the other hand is pretty incredible. And so that is why I'm so passionate about this business model because it can truly change lives. Uh, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So if you did, obviously drop a massive, massive thumbs up. It helps out a ton with the algorithm and I really appreciate it. it. Keeps me motivated to create these videos for you guys. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and I'll be sure to check those out. If you haven't watched my free masterclass on how to sign and keep four figure SMMA clients, the feedback that I've been getting on it is honestly incredible. People are literally DMing me and telling me they implemented the scripts, the templates that I cover on that masterclass to get results with their agency. And I'm gonna be taking down the masterclass in the next few weeks. 
I truly mean that. So if you want to check it out, it's completely free. There's no paywall at the end. And you can check it out in the description if that is of interest to you. Finally, and I am done plugging. If you haven't subbed to my channel, there's so much content coming out on social media marketing agency, entrepreneurship, personal development, and a ton of other topics. So if you don't want to miss any of that, go ahead and sub to my channel. Hit the little bell icon. And as always, guys, hope everything's going well in your journey. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.